In chemistry, we deal with the properties of atoms. Uh, some of these properties are ionization energy, uh, and ionization energy is the amount of energy requires to remove an electron from an atom. So energy needed to remove an electron. And the atomic radius is basically how big an atom is, big or small, size of the atom. And so we can assume that in general, and this is where the trends come in, is that if we keep adding things to it, it must get bigger. But there are some exceptions to this. Now the effect of nuclear charge is another property. That's how much of the proton the, ac the electron can actually see. So the proton is attracting an electron, but the electron, when you add electrons to a, an atom, then, you know, if we have, if we have an electron, oops, if we have an atom with circling electrons, then the effect of nuclear charge is how much of that proton's positive charge an outside electron will see. And if there are many other electrons inside, then this electron on the outside will not see as much of that proton's positive charge, because they're attracting. So this is the amount of charge electrons sort of C. Now the electronegativity is how much an atom wants an electron. If we had a you know an atom like this with the this is the proton in the center and we have an outside electron like this, then the amount of force, the amount of attraction between that would be the electronegativity. How much does this molecule want this electron? And now electro electron affinity is sort of confusing. The the sign the signs, you know, the positive negative signs, they're very confusing and you can see this from two different angles. The electron affinity is uh, the change the change in energy when an electron is added to a neutral atom, added to a neutral atom. And so the electron affinity would be if we had, let me just erase some of this. I'll start it again. Okay, so we have a molecule, this is our proton in the center, we have our orbiting electrons, 1s, 2s shell. And so the electron affinity is that if we added this electron, this electron outside, and we brought it into the atom, if it really wanted it, if it became more stable if we added that electron, then what happens is it would, it would really pull on that electron, and so it would be an overall negative energy. This is sort of like if you really enjoyed your job and you enjoyed it so much you would actually pay your employer just to be able to go to work, then you would end up with negative money. And so let's say if you really want an electron, you would end up with negative energy because you would actually give away a ton of energy for that electron. And so if you did not want the electron, if you already had a full outer shell, so let's say this, this 2p6 is completely full of electrons, then you would not end up with negative energy. You would have to give lots of energy. Just like if you hated your job, you would really have to pay you a lot of money in order to get you to show up. So you would end up with positive energy, positive energy. And that's just saying that the, the, you would have to give that, uh, th this atom here lots of energy in order to convince it to take this electron. And that's an overview of the uh, 
what are the periodic trends, so what are the properties. And in the next video, we'll go over uh, where are the trends. Does it increase left to right? Does it increase or decrease down a group?